cameras, they've really improved over the years. Before, cameras used to photograph in less than 1 megapixel and they were considered revolutionary, but that was obviously on a big bulky camera, now we have mobile phones. They incorporate much more now like 12 megapixels or 60 megapixels. As for the bulky cameras, we see cameras containing 21 megapixels, 30 megapixels, 40 megapixels and much more. However, are megapixels really everything? In this video I will explain what is a megapixel, how it helps and are they important. Hey guys, it's Cy back again from Tech Translated and welcome back to another video. In the past when looking at a phone, I used to think that the phone with the highest amount of megapixels would have a good camera, it would produce some crispy photographs and they would really stand out. However, that's not always the case. Many people have done this but like I've said before, in a camera each thing matters and makes a difference. For example, we just saw Samsung drop the S7 camera quality by 4 megapixels compared to the 60 megapixel camera on the S6. Yet, the S7 12 megapixel camera is magnificent and is still considered the best smartphone camera around because of the low aperture, lightning quick autofocus and its low light sensor. So what is a megapixel? Well, nowadays cameras take photographs in large amounts of pixel elements known as pixels. To put it simply, a single megapixel amounts to exactly 1 million pixels. The higher the amount of megapixels, the higher the resolution of the image. However, with the software available today, you could upscale a low megapixel image to a much higher resolution and if done correctly, no one would know. The higher you go with the resolution, the picture will naturally become larger, otherwise if say a 20 megapixel image is crammed into the space of a 16 megapixel one, then it wouldn't look quite nice. It may be washed out pixelated and or even blurred. The public won't understand all the sensor names if put in an advertisement unless they were explained. So then, to capture your attention, most of the time the company puts the amount of megapixels as we naturally think the higher the better. However, get this out of your head as it is false. Megapixels do not matter significantly. Yes, they do up to an extent, but that is only concerning the resolution, sensors, lens and the environment. When taking the photo, all comes into play. Overall, megapixels in my opinion are highly overrated. They simply capture resolution and the higher the better. There have been many rumours and majority of people think that the amount of megapixels means everything, but it does not. For example, Nokia released the Nokia Lumia 1020 and that contained a 41 megapixel camera. You can see this on screen now. It recorded in 1080p and for a 41 megapixel camera, 4K recording should be there. Anyways, the colours and saturation were decent, however, it didn't contain image stabilization, meaning very shaky videos. The white balance in my opinion wasn't too good either. If you don't understand what I just said, I meant the colors looked okay compared to how they should have and white balance is basically the color temperature and not making the shot look too white, grey or blue. Sensors make the difference here and they really get to work in different environments such as in low light or high amounts of light, detailed subjects and much more. So that concludes this video, hopefully you've enjoyed, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching, my name is Beacon Sai, I'll catch you next time.